fresh in my sink. Y'all know it's on child. What's going on, family? What's going on? Make sure I want to talk to myself. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, y'all? What's up, Selden? Hey, Miss Angela. What's up, Tika? Swoop like me. Doing good. What's up, Lean Boo? What's up, Trinice? Hey, Latresa. I'm doing wonderful. You cook salmon patty, rice, and corn today. Try to make some salmon patty, salmon patties, and some um and some fried egg rice yesterday. It was good too. I was supposed to make some salmon patties today, but I was like, let me get up and go to the grocery store. And to answer your question, for the one that said, I posted a meat haul yesterday for y'all. Remember I told y'all I had a whole lot of videos that I needed to edit up and stuff that I never did get edited. And you know, they say you recorded it, you post that shit. It don't matter how old it is. It was still a grocery haul. And it's still, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that y'all enjoyed it. That's that explains the three, three twenty-three or three twenty-two date or whatever the date that I was putting on them bags when I was bagging the stuff up. So that explains that date. All right. So y'all still gonna be watching a few more um older videos that I got whenever I get to them and edit them. But y'all today. I went back to the grocery store. To, well, I went to the grocery store today, not back to the grocery store because I ain't been to the grocery store in, what, about two weeks? Something like that. Anyway, so when I went down there, no, it's been about three. Yeah, it's been about three weeks. No, I think it's probably been about two weeks. I think it's been two weeks. But anywho, um, so I, uh, I went down to the grocery store again today. And um, I be visiting a grocery store that's not in my area because this particular grocery store that's not in my area be having some good deals on their meat. Like the deals that they have on their meat, we don't have that here. So, you know, I got to travel a little distance to go and get me some grocers, child, especially the meat. Y'all know, honey, I listen, y'all know I don't play when it comes to me, uh, bulk, bulk shopping and trying to get my good, a good deal on my meat and all that good stuff right there. Or whatever y'all be speaking of. You don't see a Susie? That's crazy. Oh, remember that time you said that you was gonna go check your block list to see if if you made a mistake and blocked her? Did you ever check your block list? But into who y'all? So we finna get ready to bag this meat up. I gotta go get my marker real quick. I walked back there and went and got charged and forgot to get a marker. But into who? Um, yeah, we finna. I'm about to show y'all what I got. You never see her anymore. I know you been here said that you and Didi was saying the same thing. And remember, I was telling y'all to check your uh block list to make sure that you ain't blocked by mistake. And if I'm not mistaken, you was one of the ones that was saying that. I sw I could have sworn it was you and Didi at that time. That was saying that y'all couldn't see her no more. But then I think Didi must have went and did something. And I think she could see her now. But hold on, let me go get my get my marker.
I ain't even playing around today, y'all. I'm finna go ahead on and get my meat bagged up and put in the freezer and out the way, child, because uh, last time, I almost waited a little too late, but I got caught it just in time, though. Hey, Miss Brenda. Hey, Lakeisha. Lakeisha. Hey, Miss Gloria. What's going on? Hey, Audria. Saw that you on, thought I'd tap in, say hello. Hey, boo, running around today. I don't blame you. I just got back myself from running around. <sighs> okay, so let me show y'all what I got. Show y'all. Y'all ring the doorbell, hit the phones or the like button. There's 72 people in here and only 22 of y'all's. What's up, T Love? Happy Friday. Um, it's 72 people in here and only 22 of y'all's wrong the doorbell. Ring the doorbell, please. If you don't mind, hit the phones up the like button. If you don't know what the doorbell is, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for coming. Child, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Enjoying the content and all all that good stuff. Oh hell no. We missing one on here. I need to start taking my stuff off when I go to sleep at night. Because, honey, I be tearing my jewelry up. And just start wearing it on the... I don't know when the hell I'm going to wear it. Like I, like I go in the world or anything. But, anti ho So, y'all know grocery is on the rise. And you got to try to get you a deal. So, you know, whatever that you can. And like Miss Joni said, I just responded to your comment, Miss Joni Clark. Um, you know, you got to try to, you know, get, well, she said, I noticed that you, you know, changing up different things to try to get a deal because you like to bulk shop and, and, and break your meat down to family size and all that stuff to meals and all that good stuff right there. So you doing what you got to do to get a deal. You best to know it. Okay. Um, there may be some things that I don't want that I may ain't had in a long time, but baby, as long as I got some packs of meat in the freezer. I see you, Latasha. I just spoke to you. Oh, no, I want to talk. I spoke to Lakeisha. La What's up, Latasha? So, and Benita. Benita. So, um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta alter What's up, lovely? Okay, you got to alter your eating in order to get a deal. And I know some people, they real picky. They don't eat this. They don't eat that. But you got to try to get away from that with the way these groceries is getting expensive. Yeah, it's going to be hungry. I'm just linking no now. You're going to be right here just eating damn rice or something. You know, but and we ain't saying that ain't a meal. But I'm just saying, though, you got to try to save you some money that way you can get you some groceries and get the other things that you need and honey pay bills and be able to put gas in the car child so anywho let's go and get into this haul all right y'all i was excited because child i found some chicken wings y'all ain't gonna believe how much these chicken wings is and these chicken wings ain't even the price that they will cost here and don't they? like it's ridiculous like what I got for these chicken wings, I probably would be spending maybe like sixteen to twenty dollars a pack for these for the same for the same thing. I'm gonna show y'all. All right, but I was so excited today, y'all. I was racking up, child. They had turkey, so I got me some more turkey this time, y'all. These is the whole turkey, and they was only three dollars and twenty one cent. Uh, this big pack of turkey. This is the turkey that I was telling y'all about that I didn't get the last time because it was like $6 a pack or like close to $6 a pack. I didn't get these the last time because remember I told y'all it was three flats in there and you just cut them in half and not and you got the same thing as this for a lesser price. Like I was, I was spending $3 and something last week for what I got. So now I got the whole flats and two, two to three tips up in there. Maybe four, three. One, two, yeah, about three tips up in there, four flats, about seven pieces of turkey, ain't here for $3.21. You can't beat that with a broomstick or a bat, honey. All right, so 
Y'all know, like I told y'all, when I'm in the grocery store, if there's anything that I'm going to eat on the $5, baby, I am wiping the shelf out. And that's what I did. Okay, so this one right here, I got another pack. Same thing. And this one here is $3.23. Okay. And then I got some chicken gizzles. Now, I told y'all, y'all can boil up chicken gizzles. They don't just have to be fried. Y'all can boil up chicken gizzles and stuff like that and make you some stews and soups and all that with them, honey. And they be just as good as regular chicken if you cook it right. So, while I was digging, I found me another pack. Look at this. Look, Y'all just look how much meat is in there. Another pack. There's three on top and one, two... And three on the bottom. So we get six of them in the pack. And this one here is $3.36. All right, so now I got the chicken gizzards. I told y'all everything on the five I'm racking up. Okay? All right. So I got these chicken gizzards here. You can only eat them fried. But Capricorn, baby, when that time get rough, child, you probably be like, oh, Tiana, I made some stewed chicken gizzards over here with some tomatoes in it, child, some rice, child. Oh, that look good. Let me try that. And yes, yeah, be over there boiling the hell out of them over there making you some stew, damn chicken gizzles and, and some damn rice or something. And you be like, shit, damn these fried chicken gizzles, chicken gizzles, they be tearing the top of my mouth up anyway, be chewing too goddamn long. Let me go on and make these stew chicken gizzles. Child, I ain't got to stand up no stone, I ain't got to do all that, all that right now. Okay, let me go on and make these. I'm trying to tell y'all, you just don't say what you ain't going to do. Just put it in the freezer, okay? Put it in now. All right, so... Then I got these chicken gizzards here. They was only a dollar ninety six. So yeah, don't them, baby. They gonna be good when I cook when I cook them. I need those wings. I need those wings. Wish stores here in Richmond, Virginia was like that. Now that low. Listen though, okay. So our store is not low like that here neither. They not cheap like that, but. I'm like this. When I go shopping for something, I'm only going shopping for nothing but a sale. I don't care if I wrote up a whole list of what I wanted. And when I get in that grocery store, if they got particular things on sale that I know that I'm going to eat, I'm going to rack up on what's only on sale. That way you save you some money because you might got down there that you need you some hamburger meat. Hamburger meat may be like $30 that week. But then the next week is like $18.99 or $19.99 or $22. You know what I'm saying? You know it's regularly running like $30 or $40. So you need to be watching those sales every single week at the store. I've been telling y'all this ever since I started. Ever since I started um, um, doing this on here with y'all. Because I've been doing this since forever. But since I've been doing this with y'all, you know, you got, you got to try to catch those deals, those sales. And what you also have to do is you're going to have to travel sometimes too. Because a city over from you, or if y'all like we is, where it's tri-state, you know, we close to Florida and Georgia. So I can go to other state, other stores that's in another state. And they got better deals than what we do. Like, even with their gas prices, like, I, I'm, I ain't going to travel for no gas because, God damn it, I've been on travel down there to get the gas. And then by the time I get back, I'm going to need some more gas. But for the groceries, that's a different story. I'm going to travel for them groceries because I got to get a bang where I can get one for my buck. You know, I'm just like that. All right. 130 people here. 49 people run the doorbell. If you want the ones that did not ring the doorbell, that is hit the thumbs up the like button. Then hit the thumbs up the like button for you, girl, one time for the one time. If you don't mind, I'm about to show y'all how to break this meat down. And I'm also showing y'all what I got from the grocery store. And I spent a grand total of like $150. That's it. That's it on all this meat that I got. All right. So, $196 for these chicken gizzards. I got a pack of pork chops, right? Look at that big pack. And I don't know how many is to a pack, but it's a nice size pack. $6.99. $6.99. And I was in there, and they also had other packs of pork chops where it was only like four to a pack for the same price or maybe even more than this right here. So $6.99 for this pack of pork chops. I got some chicken feet. 
Y'all know I told y'all I went to my mother mother in law house and she had no cooked some fig chicken feet, y'all. And I had tried one and it was good. So I seen them in the grocery store and they was under five dollars. I said, let me give me some of these chicken feet, y'all. So I got me some chicken feet. All right, so this pack was two ninety nine. This pack was two fifty eight. This pack was two sixty four. Chicken feet. Y'all see them? Those are feet, baby. What to say? Chicken paws. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't knock it till you try it, now. Okay. So then I got another pack of chicken gizzards, and these right here was a number of dollar eighty one. 181. What'd she say? I pass. <laughs> yeah. That's alright. I, I I'll get your shelf. Then I got another pack of turkey. $3.16. And thing I'm telling you, when mama seen me when the cleaning the Tiana said, Mama say, Tiana, you getting all? I say I'm getting all of it. You can't beat three dollars. Under four dollars for a pack of meat, baby, and they look like this. Okay, I'm getting all of them. When I tell y'all, wipe that shelf out. One no more of that, honey. And then had to ask her, "You want you one?" <laughs> yeah. I don't be knowing how to act, y'all. When I see a sale, child, I don't know how to act. Okay, so then I got another pack. This uh, pork chops, and this pack is what's up, uh, my purpose. And this pack well, it is six seventy two. What you cook, what you could do like you could do it like chicken and rice. You could do it just like that. Mm hmm And you could boil them by themselves, season them up real good. Still cook the rice on the side. Um, they good. But how she did it, while well, telling I wish I was down there. Girl, you know I'll show you how to rack up honey. How do here in Illinois, how do chicken feet taste? Listen. <coughs> I specifically bought these chicken feet for one because they was on sale for two. I tasted them and for three, I said it'll be a good video for y'all. So I'm most definitely going to do that video for y'all on how to cook these chicken feet. Even though I ain't never cooked them before. But ain't nothing I can't cook, honey. The only thing I do is cook it to the tender, honey. Season up real good and you in there. Okay. So I'm going to show y'all how to cook them chicken feet. All right. So then I got Now, I was going to get some leg quarters again this time, but it was like $7.60 for a bag of leg quarters. And I almost felt like I would have been cheating myself if I would have got the bag of leg quarters because I may not would have got as many legs or thighs that I got in this deal that I got right here it, by buying the package, the pack separate. Last time I bought one bag. But this time I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy these packs. And, and I think I felt like I was getting a better deal by buying the packs individually since they was at this price that I'm going to show y'all. This is a backpack of drumsticks. And they the smaller ones. They're not all them big old huge drumsticks. And they was only $5.70 for that pack right there. Which the deal could have been better than that, but I still feel like that this was a good deal to me for these little bitty chicken legs. Like, they had another pack of drumsticks was smaller than this. And the drumsticks was huge enough, but they was more than this. Alright, so I got another pack of the same drumsticks. And like that right there. Y'all see all that chicken in there? I feel like I got a good deal for five dollars and seventy three cent. What y'all think? That was a good deal for that. I think it is. Y'all know I be doing my groceries. All right. So then I got some chicken wings. The chicken wings that I have right here, this big family pack. Y'all see that? And it was only $5.97 for this pack of chicken wings. Look at that. And they don't tell you how many in there. You like cow foot soup? I never had that. Okay, so then.
I got I only got one pack of turkey necks because I didn't want to spend really three dollars on these. I just got them because it was three eighty six. This is the only one that was up there for three dollars. So I just went on and got this one right here for three eighty six of these uh turkey necks. So hopefully next time I go back, they have turkey necks on side on, on sale or a bigger pack of them. And I rack up on them then. But other than that, I uh -uh. I just got that one pack right there. I felt like they weren't robbing me for less than $4 for that little pack. All right, so then I got another pack of drumsticks. And these here is $5.74. I got another pack of drumsticks. I told y'all, I wasn't playing. $5.76 for this big pack. Am I gonna make some smothered turkey necks? I don't know yet. I can't decide. I can't I can't say what I'm gonna do because I never cook nothing the same. Never. Alright, so here's the pack. See the deep pack of chicken thighs. And these chicken thighs one number $3.47. And it looks like I could have two, four, six, eight maybe 12 chicken thighs in this pack y'all know it probably was only going to be like 12 12 leg quarters in a bag right cut them up that's 24 pieces of chicken 12 thighs 12 legs okay i would have came out about the same price because it was seven dollars and ninety cent or seven dollars and sixty cent for the bag of leg quarters so i bought what it came out probably about the same price I don't know, but I felt like I was getting a better deal for $3.47 for this pack of chicken thighs. Then I got another pack, which, which I know for a fact beat that deal. And it's still 12 in this one for $2.77. Two dollars and seventy-seven cents. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't rack up like I did today, y'all? Who wouldn't? Y'all, y'all see everything I got besides these leg quarters and these pork chops. The pork chops only got one pack that was seven dollars, but the chicken legs five six dollars and under. Pretty much everything that I showed y'all besides these pork chops has been six dollars and under. And we still going, child. Oh, I got another pack of turkey. And these here was $3.19. $3.19. Then I got another pack of turkey. I told y'all. Y'all must have thought I was playing though. Another pack. $3.19. Turkey wings. Flats and tilt. I got another pack of, oh, okay, this chicken breast. So I got a pack of chicken breasts. I don't know how many in there. Could be about 10 to 12 in here for $6.05. $6.05 for this chicken breast. Big old pack. Mm-hmm. Bone in. Jamaican style. I love Jamaican food. What's up, Miss Donna? Some chicken foot soup. I'm going to have to look up that. All right, moving right along because we still got some more. I did good today. Now y'all see, when y'all was looking at that, for those of you that don't know me, when y'all was looking at that grocery meat haul and I was complaining about, I was talking about it's ridiculous. For that little bit of stuff that I had, I had spent like $168. Like, that was nothing. You now you see what I'm talking about for those of you that don't know me. Now you see you going you see the difference. Like I could have got way more for $168. Do y'all know what I could have did with $168 if they would have had a sale like that when I went to the grocery store then. Okay. So, I got another pack of turkey. And this one here was $3 and 27 cents for these turkey wings here. 
And y'all see, these ain't no little bitty turkey wings. These are some healthy turkey wings. All right. So then, I got another pack of chicken breasts. And these right here is $6.41. Six forty-one for these chicken breasts. Okay, so then I think this part of chicken wings for her. Yeah, this chicken wings. Got another pack of chicken wings. Okay, so this is the first $7 pack. $7.35 for this pack of chicken wings. But still, that's not a bad deal compared to what y'all is spending on chicken wings nowadays. You know what I'm saying? $7.35? Come on now, you can't even you can't even sniff the damn chicken wing for that price. Oh, okay, I got some more chicken thighs. And this pack here, hey Veronica and Lena. Nice meat budget, girl. Yes, three dollars and one cent for this pack of chicken thighs. I did, girl. I racked up. Okay, so then I got another pack of chicken breast. This one here is five dollars and fifty seven cent. Right, so deep pack. And then, I had to get them. I don't even eat them like that, but I had to get them. They was only $6. And for this right here, you is not going to get this many cut up the way that it's cut up and looking good, child. If you didn't eat it, honey, it was damn so tempting. $6 for a pack of pig feet. And look at this pig feet. Y'all know that's a lot of pig feet. If y'all buy pig feet, y'all know that is a lot of pig feet. Right there for six dollars. Come on now, y'all already know you ain't gonna get that much pig feet for no six dollars. So I got that, but they did have a better deal um a couple weeks ago on them though for the for the pig feet. Food in my city is seventeen seventy five for a four pack of pork chops. And it was just like that down there. It was like a four pack of pork chops. I got pork chops right here for $6.99. But them same look like the same pork chops or could be a little bit thicker. Child, them damn pork chops was like eight and nine dollars a pack. Something like that. I know it was more, honey. And I was glad to see them pork chops because I needed me some more pork chops. And then they had um the center cup pork chop, which which comes off the tenderloin. I don't think, no, they didn't have a deal on those because the whole tenderloin, because I would have got me another one if they would have had it on sale. But the whole tenderloin, it was like 20, about 24, 25, up to $27 for the whole tenderloin. So I was like, nope, because I know I can get that for a way better deal, child. They got me messed up. All right, so then the last thing, I just got me some cooking oil. And they had it for $7.99, and I haven't seen that price in a long time for a gallon size of cooking oil. So I just went on ahead and got one of those. Right there. One of these right here. And that is my grocery haul, y'all. That is my grocery haul. So what I'm gonna do is, I gotta bag this stuff up. What's up 206 of y'all, how y'all doing? Let me, let me show y'all this mound. Look all that meat. Hundred and this this is a hundred and fifty dollars worth of meat.
Oh, yes, Nisha. I be trying to show y'all what to do. You know, I got to help y'all out. You know, because sometimes people don't be knowing. You know, you got them fast shoppers in the store. And you can't be no fast shopper trying to get a deal, baby. You got to walk back and forth down the aisle, you know, a couple times, honey. You might got to make a phone call to another store or something, you know. Make sure that you ain't, you know, you got to know your sales. I know my sales, y'all. One thing I do know, I know about some grocery. Now, if I don't know nothing about nothing else. You can't, you can't hold me on that grocery now. Can't hold me on that. All right. I hope I got enough Ziploc bags, but I may not need as many. I hope I don't. We're going to start with these turkey because I got plenty of them. Tiana, you and your family been gone three months and I'm back now. I missed you so much. Oh, I missed you too, Rita. I'm glad you're back. You spent $150 on meats a couple days ago and nowhere near half of that. I can believe it, though. I can believe it. And one thing, and just know, one thing I ain't doing and I never do is brag. But what did I tell y'all? I just told somebody this the other day when I was doing the meats the last time. And I think she was talking about purging her freezer or something like that. And I was telling her, I said, um, and it was on the live. I say, um, I like when I purge my freezers, which is what I've been doing because I haven't really been grocery shopping. For one, I didn't have the deep freezer to put it in, but I do now. Um, thanks to my mom for my gift. Mama bought me a deep freeze. I guess mama said, I'm tired of this girl. Talking about she's going to buy a damn deep freeze. I guess I'm going on to get a one. So mama bought me a deep freeze, y'all. And I'm thankful, y'all. And it's cold and ready, child. So y'all know it is on, right? Y'all know it's on. Y'all better know it's on. If y'all don't know it's on, honey, you know damn not. It is on like damn pot of popcorn, honey. The pot of popcorn. Okay. So, it's on, y'all. We got to fill this freezer up, child. Okay? So, my thing, I'm going to be trying to fill that up with some meat, child, honey, y'all. Y'all know. Y'all know. Okay, look. Tell her again, lovely. <laughs> tell her again. So, anywho, we're going to start on this uh turkey. Oh, and oh, oh, and let me finish saying what I was saying. But anyway, what I was saying was I like to purge my freezer and go through all my stuff and eat up what I had already bought and stuff like that. When my freezer get full, right? I just like to go through everything and try to make as many meals that I can make out of what I have, right? Till I get down to where I can't make not no more meals or maybe one more meal. And then I go back to the grocery store. But it seems like every time I do that, it's almost like God be like, you know what? I appreciate you being thankful for what I blessed you with before. So now I'm going to bless you even greater this time, you know? And so that's just how I be with me, y'all. So if you got a freezer of food, go through your freezer, eat up your meat, and eat up, make meals out of everything that you got, as, as many meals as you can make until you can't make no more if you really don't need to go to the grocery store. Because when you do... Trust and believe God going to show you favor and bless you with an abundance of food that you didn't even think that you was going to be able to get with a little bit of money. So a lot of y'all be wondering, huh? It don't be nobody but God. I give God the glory for that because I could have went to the grocery store today and groceries would have been up and I wouldn't have been able to get as much. But God, God knows I've been purging my freezers. So I guess, you know, this is my blessing right here. All right, so y'all do the same thing and come back and let me know if God come come and show up and show out for you when you go to the grocery store and let me know what kind of deal that you got on you some meat and stuff like that. I ain't, oh, some fried chicken, Joyce. We having some fried chicken and fries today. That's what I'm cooking today. I was like, you know what? Mm -mm. I, I, I started to, you know, I was trying to decide what I wanted to make. I was thinking about chili dogs. I was thinking about, um, some buffalo chicken timbers. I was thinking about um some um what else I was thinking about tacos. And then I was like, we was in a grocery store, and I was like, Mom, we're gonna we, we're gonna do these chick, chicken tenders or whatever. And you know, just this one pack of chicken chicken breasts, six dollars and some. I'm like, 
And then I gotta cut it up, cut the meat off the bone and all that stuff to make the tenders and all that right there. I ain't trying to be doing all that work not on this good Friday. So we finna fry up some of these damn chicken legs. Babe, what I bought the chicken leg? I think I bought some chicken legs. We finna fry up these damn chicken legs and make us some homemade potato wedge fries. And I'm gonna be right on here with y'all cooking it for you, okay? Cause uh, that's all I'm doing. I ain't even want to stop about no fish child, baby. Nope, I ain't even bought no fish. I had to go get my grocery child, so you know, you make a baby back ribs and fried baby back mac and cheese and shrimp win today. Oh, that's gonna be for Sunday. Then I have you ever made fish tacos? Yes, I have, and I do want to make them again. I thought about that too, uh, Susan Q. So maybe next weekend we might do fish tacos because I told you I had a, I had a, I had a taste for some fish today too, but I just then you know I had to wait. For that because you know i gotta get my groceries and stuff so you know but you know next weekend if i remember we might do the fish tacos for sure for sure but i think i'm gonna do them a little bit different but yeah i can't be telling all my damn secrets you'll find out though but anyway so let's go and do this turkey every time i tell a secret it seems like somebody be done hurt my ass and make a damn video about it Y'all know I put them in my bags and today's date. I gotta go get me some more bags too. And we ain't gotta do all that washing and stuff today because I was not playing this time and did not let it sit in that blood. Well, Smelling and tasting like blood. So we ain't got to wash today. All right, so what's today's date? Y'all, what's the date? Can somebody give me the date real quick? It's just two of us and my two-year-old granddaughter. I make just enough for leftovers tomorrow. I know that's where our old one's gonna. Seven, eight. All right. Thank you. So I got my turkey wings. Let's see how many come to a pack. One, two, three, four. Y'all, it was four tips in there. So you get eight pieces for three dollars or something. And look up, look, look at the flat. That's a big old, that's a big old flat. I don't know why I can't. Five, eight, nine, ten, sixteen.
like all of them got four, four and four. Yep, four and four. All right, so I'm gonna put my chicken on this side over here. Got my chicken thighs. And I'm gonna put the thighs and the legs together because they be liking legs and I be liking thighs. This breast, hold on. That's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve pieces. Like I said, that was two dollars and seventy-seven cents. Twelve pieces, like I said, for them thighs. Pieces of thighs. Let's see how many legs in here. This five dollars and seventy six cents for these legs. So I got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen chicken legs for five dollars and seventy seven cents right there. And that is way more than what I would have got if I would have cut my thighs and legs up for seven dollars and uh 90 cent a pack so this pack you got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen nineteen pieces in that pack for five seventy four two Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen pieces in this pack for five seventy three. Y'all run the doorbell. Thank y'all for giving me some 112 doorbell rainstones up like button. I appreciate y'all for ringing the doorbell one time for the one time for you, girl, if you don't mind. The way I have to eat thighs is barbecue them. Oh, okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen more legs for five seventy. And what I was showing y'all is they the nice size little legs. They not real big. So that's nineteen. Okay, so then I got, oh, here's another pack of chicken thighs. This 12 more right here for 301. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, yep. Then I got, okay, so that's it. All right. So now, so now, let's do these turkey. I'm gonna put one, two, Three to a bag, most definitely. And I'm gonna put three tips. That's how I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna put six to a bag. Cause me and grandma mainly eat it. My husband, he will eat it, but he ain't gonna eat it like me and grandma would eat it. So 
so that helps me stretch it. I'm proud of this right here, this turkey now, because I wanted me some turkey. Get, try to, you know, I, I eat pork, but I try to, like, eat pork maybe, like, one day, and then maybe, like, a, for a couple days, I won't make no pork, because that way y'all just don't be eating pork, 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 pork all the time. But, you know, if that's all you could do, then that's all you could do sometimes, because sometimes pork is cheaper than everything else. Okay, so I had two of them left, one big one, one little one, so I'm just going to split them up. So we're going to put the pork chop. Wow, let's go finish up this chicken. How many wings I got? One. I think I only got two of the wings. Yeah. So we're going to do the uh, breast snacks. Okay, so one 
Come on, Marco. I got one, two, three, four. All right, so now let's do the chicken. I'm going to put one, two, three. I'm gonna put six to a bag. We we in a pandemic, y'all, and 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 we got inflation going on. And honey, we can't be around here just be eating all regular. So we gotta eat like we normally don't eat. I gotta make just enough. So I'm putting six chicken to a bag, six, three drums and three thighs. And that's gonna be good enough for us, honey. We better make it work. Honey, we better be full up from size and stuff. Y'all know I don't cook a little bit anyway. And then sometimes grandma don't be wanting chicken either. She be wanting just the size. Y'all know how she be built be by the chicken. Y'all know me, I can eat your share of mine.
What's up, Chef Brooklyn? All right, you have a good one and turn that red cup up for me one time. Thank y'all for ringing that doorbell. Welcome to all 247 of y'all. I hope y'all learned something today and 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 um liked what you're seeing and stuff. And um ring the doorbell, hit the thumbs up, the like button, and subscribe, and all that good stuff right there. And if you're wondering how much I spent on this, when the video is, video is over, I went through and I showed y'all all up in the camera how much I spent on each one pack of meat. And I'm just showing you now how I break it down to get a bang for my buck when I go and buy my meat and stuff. Especially when I get a good deal. So I got three, Six, Okay, so I've got This chicken too. Make 
trying to hear y'all talking about no cross contamination. If that's what you're going to say, child, ain't nobody hearing all that. Because I wash and clean my meat and all that stuff before I cook it. And we don't know what they doing back there in that, in that, in that, in that, oh, in that, in that, oh, thing back there where they be cutting it up. chicken with six pieces in each bag. I think the chicken breast is going to take this out. Okay, so the chicken breast. Let's see. If I do two, three, I want to do three to a bag, but. I'm all out of bags and I got to get some more. So. We're going to do four to a bag, which either way it goes, that ain't going to make no difference. Just in case, if if one, if somebody eat theirs, we'll have one extra piece. One, two, three, four. Four. 
one, so there you go. And so, like, sometimes when I bag them up, I like to put the number on the bag or how many pieces of whatever I put in them. That way, if I'm cooking for a crowd and say, like, I be done added up what I'm going to cook, I know take out three or four of these bags or, you know, I know what's in the bag. make two more bags y'all if I put three to a bag that's what I'm doing three to a bag don't got another bag though what I do with the bag did I use the bag I just had all right I think I used the bag that I had so I would have a total of one two two three four five Six, seven bags of chicken breast with three to a bag. Then I have some chicken wings over here. I think I'm going to do nine to a bag of the wings. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so for the wings, I will have four bags of chicken wings. Three bags got nine, one bag got eight. All right, so then, so now that's that for that. I gotta give me some more bags. So y'all know how many chicken wings I'm gonna have. All right, and we finna put these chicken wings and thighs together, okay? And they gonna go in a bowl together and sit in my refrigerator till I come back with my bag. Now I got some pork chops, and I'm, pro I'm probably ain't gonna have no about three bags of pork chops, y'all. I don't know how many came in these packs. I know y'all would love to know. Hold on, y'all. Ain't nothing I could do though. These people gonna have different accounts. You just gotta block them yourself. Touch their name and block them, y'all. If y'all see all the stuff that, um, all the stuff that these people's on here talking about, y'all ignore them. Don't pay them no mind. Just touch their name and block them, and you ain't gotta worry about seeing them no more. Cause I can't stand here and block and try to show y'all what I'm doing. And I'm gonna have a chicken phone and all that stuff right there. So anyway, all right, you okay? Yeah, y'all just touch that name and block them. Don't pay them no mind. Because I ain't... Y'all know how they do. They come down a, a dozen. Okay, so... They come by the dozen, what I tried to say. All right, so... Did I wash my shanky sink? I good. All
and let's see how many pork chops we're gonna get to a pack. Okay, so now let's do these. I got some pig feet too, y'all. <laughs> I got some pig feet too. I need a bag though, because we ain't gonna eat that whole pack like that. Okay, so to the pork chop we got the pork chop we got for this pack it was $6.99. So ooh, y'all look at them pork chops. Look at them pork chops. Child, this is my favorite part right here. That bone right there, child. Get the bone. Child, honey, you can have the meat. Give him the bone. So I got one, two, three, four, six, eight pork chops. Okay, so they was like a dollar chop. What that was? Seven dollars. Seven dollars. So look how, look, y'all look at them. Child, y'all look, look, look at them. Look how big they are. Child. Chop. Hey, Daily Mom. Hey, Danielle. What's up, too? Okay. How many I said there was? Nine? It's eight? Two? Four? Eight. Eight pork chops for $6.99. This is a $6.72 pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight to a pack. Can't beat that. I feel like I got a, a free one or something. So with 16 pork chops, let's see. I'm doing four to a bag. Four to a bag. That ain't gonna be no leftovers. So that's that'll be four bags of pork chops. With four to a bag, that's a good deal, y'all. And I was like, what, $13, $14 for those mini pork chops? That, I think that was a good deal. Then I got these pig feet. Feet we're gonna do to a bag. Ain't nobody gonna eat this for me and grandma or mama them or you know if I cook for them or if I put it in some greens or something like that. Like they not gonna eat this. They they ain't gonna eat this. So I got how much was those? They was six dollars. Six dollars for I'm gonna count them two at a time because two of them is one one foot. So that's what one, two, no, I think three maybe one. The biggest they is they look like two is one foot, honestly, y'all. Yeah, two is one foot. Okay, so 
That's one, two, three, four, six. I got six foot for six dollars. Six pig feet, which seemed like a dollar foot. I mean, it seemed like a deal to me too because I know that it could be more than that. So for six pig feet, six dollars. I kind of think that. I think I kind of broke even on the um pig feet. I think I broke even on that because pig feet, I think they normally around that price for on a good day for that many. I'm going to put it like that. So, I'm going to just do two bags of these half and half, I think. Two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I might do two pig feet to a bag or something. I might do that. Two whole pig feet. Because I'm not going to eat it like that neither. Like one round, one meal, one time, going to be good enough for me. So I think I'm going to just... I'm, I might try to do four to a bag, something like that, two pig, which is two pig feet, and let it be like that. Because, I mean, four is good enough. Grandma, she don't need it like that, and I'm definitely not going to eat it like that. So, I just got it just because I know, I know that um, Grandma like it, but I'm not going to be able to give it to her like that. But, also, to make a good video for y'all. You know, I was thinking about y'all. So, mm -hmm. okay, so we got to get all this here flattened out because I told you that's how I do. Oh. I flatten it all out. Y'all ran the doorbell for me. It's 254 here and only 183 were on the doorbell. If you want the ones that did not hit the thumbs up, the like button and hit it one time for the one time for you, girl, if you don't mind. All right. Just sealing my bags up so I can flatten them out. All right, just touch their name. Hit block. Block their ass too, Lisa. Just touch block. That way you ain't got to worry about seeing them. You go only way you see them when they come back with another name. Because, uh, honestly, <laughs> I hate to say it, but y'all, but I don't believe reporting do a goddamn thing. I don't think it do. No What's up, Miss Merida? Y'all reporting them, too? Y'all can report them, but I really don't think it do nothing. I really don't think it do anything. Because if it did, it wouldn't be going on the way that it do, right? I ain't fooling me. But who am I? Hey, Penny. Blocking his belly. Right. That way you can go and get him out your house real quick. Like, what I'm cooking for? You, were you cooking tonight as well? Some fried chicken. That's it. What's up, Joni? I was just mentioning you earlier in the video about your comment that you made, honey. You was right about it. We're going to have to uh, go back eating like our ancestors. Yeah, y'all blocking. 
Don't let them um ruin what y'all got going on over here trying to. Thank y'all. Y'all almost got me to that two hundred net. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Miss Ellen. You block and report. Do it then. What's up, Miss Barbara? What you said? I just came in. I'm doing good. I tried bagging these grocers up. Honey, yes. I had responded to your comment, though, but I was talking about you when I first got on here. What's up, Kay and Ray? Thank you for ringing the doorbell, Miss Dang. Yeah. Thank y'all for ringing the doorbell. Thank you, Miss Angela, for letting them know to ring the doorbell. Hit the thumbs up, the like button. Y'all done helped me make it to 200 doorbell rings. We made it. Mm -mm. We made it. Mm -mm. We made it to 200. Do, do. Oh, we made it, do, we made it, do, we made it to 200, do, do, oh, we made it, do, we made it, do, we made it to 200, do, do, oh, we made it, do, we made it, do, we made it to 200, and Hey, thank y'all for ringing the doorbell, hitting the thumbs up, the like button. I appreciate y'all one time for the one time. Hey, what's up, Quetta? <sighs> so what y'all doing today? Y'all cooking some good food today? Hey, Miss Lynette, thank you, boo. Miss Barbara, coming through one time for the one time. Hey. Thank you for ringing the doorbell, P.E. Hey, Miss Cynthia, what's up, Nita? Making nachos for tacos. What you say? Did I read that right? She said, make a nacho for tacos. Honey, sound good to me. I gotta go to Big Lots, y'all. I gotta go get me some more bags. That's why I get my bags from two from Big Lots. They usually have a, a good sale, a, a good deal on them. I don't know what they're gonna look like now, though. You get the 80 bags, and they normally was like $4 in. 80 cent or something but you get these bags right here at big lots i think they was like 480 back when i was getting them now i don't know what they use now and i just ran out what store do i buy my meat at it's a pickle wiggly but it's also called food for less because i went to georgia and got this For one person, cook for two, that means you got leftovers. You like leftovers? You know what you will eat. I don't know how to cook small either though, you know, but you know what you will eat. So just double that if you want leftovers. We got to learn some kind of way. You meant, hey, hey. Got your ass. You love leftovers, honey. It do taste better sometimes. I like leftovers too. I eat leftovers. I ain't saying I don't, but you know, sometimes I have leftovers and I don't even be wanting leftovers because after eating them that night, then eat them that morning, eat them that evening, then they gotta turn around and eat them again that night. Come on, baby, we need something else in between. That's how I be sometimes. I'm out. What you said? Oh, exactly, Needle. You get tired of it. Hey, Hazel. Y'all don't have food for less in Vegas. We don't have food for less here neither. And I've heard, I, I, I watch videos of people doing grocery hauls and stuff. 
And I, I, if I, I remember hearing people saying food for less. So I'm like, we, I wish we had a food for less, you know. So one day, me and my mom, we happened to go to the grocery store over there in Georgia. And pull up to it, and it was a Piggly Wiggly. I already knew that it was a Piggly Wiggly, right? But up there, it said food for less. It's the same thing. Piggly Wiggly and food for less is the same stuff. Same stuff. Didn't even know, but you ain't gonna know if you won't never notice it in another state or know anybody from that state that know anything about you know what I'm saying? Y'all do got Smiths. Oh. I wonder what Smiths is. See we and uh, and then y'all know what? Another thing too. Last night I was looking at um no, I wasn't looking at it. I saw it on the thumbnail. And there was a guy, he was doing a um muck bomb. And the box was from what he was eating was from Culver's, right? And so the box it looked just like um Hardy's, a Hardy's box, but it said Culver's all over it. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, I wonder if I'm going to make Tiana's versions tonight. What? What you making, Miss Meredith? Put it so down, spend some nine pack of chicken wings, like fourteen dollars something and up. And I like what for? I know that's where I usually do go to the meat market to buy, but even now, I don't know. Yep, you're right. And the meat pack, right? You're right. Mhm. Mm do you have a save a lot? Oh, we ain't got no save a lot. I used to, um, used to, but always love dirty in that stove. Yes, that stove definitely. Yes, yes. You got to bag your own stuff and all of that. And back in the day, save a lot used to be the spot. But now, save a lot ain't the spot. Not when I was visiting Florida. See, we don't have to save a lot here, but we had it back in Florida. And, honey, when I went back to visit a couple years ago, honey, to the save a lot, I ended up at Walmart because it was so expensive. You, bud, friend? I ended up at Walmart. Me and mama was like, oh, hell to the no. Oh, Salisbury Hamburger State, let me know how you like it, girl. Yes, they high, ain't they, Josephine? You got save a lot too, Ebony, is they high? Oh, Smith is like Kroger, we ain't got Kroger either. Yeah, it gives me a 7-Eleven vibe. I love 7-Eleven slushies. Love them. You back now, okay. Hey, remember what I told you about separating your meat and bone of the song, huh? It does save, yep, mm-hmm. Show you where your meat goes. It can help you plan your meals better too, mm-hmm. Yep, not 7-Eleven vibes. <laughs> Why? Look, what's the 7? Look, um, T-Love, what is the 7-Eleven vibes, though? They closed our stable lot because of filth, really? They might be the same store, Day Lamont. You never know. They can't afford no pest control. They need to be shut down. Now y'all the grocery store, y'all making the money. Y'all got the money for the pest control? What's going on? Y'all, I'm about to get my, get my, I'm about to get my drink on today. I am. I'm about to enjoy myself today, y'all. I might fry my chicken outside. It'll be a good idea to go season up my chicken and bread it. And I ain't got to do nothing but fry, baby. And cut my turtles up. And have them all ready, ready to. That way, baby. I ain't gotta do no prep work. Sounds like a good idea to me.
What you say you're doing fried chicken, pork steak, okay, macaroni and cheese, and sugar sweet cabbage. All right now, James, you better go on. Hey, Miss Barbara King. Welcome to the family, y'all. Welcome, Barbara King, to the family. Thank you for coming. I hope you're enjoying yourself over here and uh, learn something new, child. And honey, be like, ooh, child, I done found me a new person on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Y'all know how I told y'all how we got to do it in that deep freezer, right? We got to put up some cardboard in between. I need to get my meat so right here and put it in the refrigerator. Because uh, they ain't going to get done until tomorrow. Put me a bag around them. They'll be all right till tomorrow. I'm going to put some chicken feet in the freezer like that, though. And these um, turkey necks, they're going to go in in the visits, all that going on just like that because those is definitely one meals. Uh oh I got some chicken breast around this bag. You doing a whole baked chicken with potatoes and mashed potatoes today, Daily Mom? I was checking out what you said. I was checking out the um the uh, whole chickens. Try them whole chickens been about nine ten dollars. I was like, oh no, nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna let them sit there till they go on sale. When they go on sale, y'all see I got me some whole chickens. If they don't go on sale, I ain't gonna have no two chickens in the pack for about ten dollars. That's high. That is too high, y'all. I'm used to them being at least by six. Five, four, but ten dollars? Uh, uh no, nope. I might as well just go and buy me some kind of some legs and some thighs, baby, and hook it up. They even sold the whole chicken cut up in the pack too. It was like the same price though. Have y'all tried the Oscar Maya maple? Swipe the swipe, that dollar. And mate, done holler you. What? All right, hold on. What you say? We're supposed to be happy, but happy that we get reminded of our ancestors working on them plantations. Y'all piss me off. I hope you uh enjoyed them $9.99 work because I know, Barbara, you ain't going to let them stay. You over here talking mess. I know Barbara ain't, ain't, ain't gonna let them stay. Look at her. I think she done rejected it already. Oh, no, she did. Child, she, she wanted to get that up in there. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. What you trying to say over there, honey? God damn, you don't even know your damn ancestor. Talk about an ancestor. Shut your... Who you talking to? <laughs> Girl, hold on. Let me correct my damn self before I... uh. <laughs> Fuck around and say the wrong goddamn thing and you want talking to me because I feel like you over there talking to me for them $9.99, honey. You paid for that cussing out you about to get, honey. <laughs> Her ass paid for a Susie shed. She she very much so deserve it. You hear me? Oh, you made a motherfucking mistake. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> well, listen. I already know that them damn uh nine ninety nine ain't gonna stick, but thank you um P E you welcome boo for swiping the swipe that dollar and they don't holler you know it swipe the swipe that dollar and they don't holler thank you P E swipe the swipe that dollar and they don't holler super chat mm 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 cash out mm 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 PayPal mm 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 whatever you wanna do is up to you boo. Well, yeah, they paid for that child. Talking about a mistake. You look like a damn mistake. Nah, mistakenly. Is you going to mistakenly take your 999 back too? 
Cause honey, I need them right there. Let me block your ass, cause you playing. I know you playing. Troll, just being a troll. Troll trying to make trying to make me look bad to the other people on here that don't know no better, but I ain't finna let you though. I ain't finna let you run nobody off. You got me, you got me. And I done been on here for every bit about two hours. You got me messed up. I ain't finna get me over here acting ugly. And then these folks are like, oh hell to them now. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I can't wash up. No, y'all got me bent all out of shape today. All right. Yeah, they trying me. They trying me too hard. What's up, low life? Dang, did I see you. And be love daily. I probably been talking to you. Hey, internet. <laughs> I'm telling you, they'll fool your ass. They be making you think that they be for you, but then that thing, you know, they start talking sideways once you say something to them. I love y'all too. We love you, Tiana. That was no mistake on that troll's part. Exactly. And um, thank you for being an eight-month member. That's what I'm talking about, boo. Shout out to all my members that done been members here on my channel for however long y'all been here. <laughs> they ass gonna be burning in a minute trying to get up out of here, honey, because they gonna be leaving one by one. Thing you gonna be seeing is number five on their ass getting up out of here, honey, because I'm gonna read their rights just right, okay? Now you want to flatten out the bags, read them. I am. Um, they keep on. You on, your, you on my ass too? Like the white on rice? That's all right. I need you to be on my ass. Just stay right here while I'm here. Because, honey, you doing me a favor, okay? Stay here. And, I'm, and you know what? All y'all trolls, let me tell y'all something. Hold on, family. All y'all trolls, they got something to say. And y'all being negative and petty baddies. I'm going to need for y'all to keep everything that y'all saying to yourself just for a second because I'm going to give you your time as soon as I put this meat in the freezer. Just stay right here and don't say nothing real because I want to see everything that you say that way we can get at one another. Okay, so just hold on one minute and let me flat these bags out and don't say nothing else till I, uh, until, I, until, until I put this meat in this freezer and then we can have us a conversation. Okay, all right. Hold on one second. I gotta get my cardboard. And let me cover this meat up just in case a fly come up in here. And I don't see him. Yeah, just hold on. Just hold on. Stay right. Don't say nothing else because I want to see everything you're saying. Don't hide your comments from me because I want to see him. I want to I want to hear. How y'all talking about me? So just say it to my face because that's the best way to do it than behind my back because you looking like a coward.
Okay, so y'all see all that over there? That's what I got right there. Okay. Hold on. So I know I'm going to have to cut these up. I just cut some off that box. I saved that box. Any kind of box, y'all. Just get you some cardboard. You're going to need this. This going to help you for those of you that got uh, deep freezers. Refrigerator freezers, upright freezers. So what I'm going to do is, first thing first, I'm going to lay me some of these down in the bottom. It's 3.30. Hold on, y'all. You don't get off at a time. Yeah. All right, so Auntie Who, so Doing what I'm doing. Oh, they want just want y'all to see him try this drink. Well, come get it in. I said I wanted to taste it too. They gonna try this right here, y'all. Thank you, Lena. Mama got it for me. All right, though. He trying this sour, warhead sour watermelon drink. Y'all tried this before? Baby, they say, hey. What up, dope? Ah. Hey, Miss Geraldine. Ah. Okay. You want it right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was gonna show y'all something. Oh, put a put put a bag over that and put it in the refrigerator for me. 
They say, hey, babe. <laughs> no. Okay, so this is what I do. I put it in the bottom, and that keeps your bags from sticking to the bottom of the deep freezer. To the bag, okay. Or your Back. packs of meat or whatever. Back. Yes. You didn't learn that time we had deep freezer and all that shit now. You didn't learn that. I'm showing them now what to do. That, that joke was sticky when we had to pick that joke up. And that's why I'm telling them about the cardboard. You put cardboard in between. Because I already got something in there that I gotta finish bagging up. Huh? No, don't throw that box away because that's where I'm getting the cardboard from. Oh. Alright, so I got my bags, my packs, and you wanna lay them flat like this. Lay down a flat layer. I like that bed. That's beautiful because they got uh that fit uh not good anymore. That fit uh six bags to the bottom. Normally I fit four bags on the, on the one I had. Oh, I thought you saw my bed, right? Uh mm -mm. It fits six bags on here. Oh Lord. Oh, gee. It's sour. <laughs> oh. Gee, let me taste it. Oh, wow. All right, so now I got a layer and down in there. That's a Red Bull, though, still. That ain't fucking Red Bull. Hmm. <laughs> Finna taste this, y'all. Ghost. Take just like what it say. Oh, oh. I just told oh. you. <laughs> I did not. Oh. I think I'm gonna stick the red bull. It like your jaws. It like your jaws up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick the red bull. Oh. It's good though, but it tastes sugar free just like it's saying. Okay. I told you. So then. Like hold on, y'all. So then. As you can see, I got one layer. So now I'm just gonna take me some cardboard and put it down on top of here because that keeps the meats from sticking together, the bags. And then you just do another layer and keep doing the same thing just like that until you fill your freezer up. And that way when you go to your D freezer, you ain't got to worry about don't want to go in there and try to dig for you no meat because all your bags you know is stuck together so yeah see that's why i said i was telling me the other day about what they was doing to sofa tea oh just to let you know sofa tea if you was watching and when i came over there on your live that day that they was telling me about that somebody was over there blocking people up under my name that was me that you blocked that time. So, but it's okay though. You can take my moderator thing. I don't, I don't think you, no, you didn't block me. You just took my moderator thing, which is okay. I don't mind. I was just, I, I'm glad I remember to tell you that there was none of me over there on nobody's channel blocking no names because one thing about it, I ain't no hater like that. I ain't got time to be over there trying to block nobody doing no, no crazy stuff on nobody's channel. That's, that's just dumb, you know? And I know you don't really know me well enough to say I know she didn't do that, but I'm just letting you know that wasn't none of me.
Deus, sim, ó. Somos lugar bem. And the fave on some of your boxes, you might be able to put you just. <laughs> LMB, that's me. Swipe it, swipe that dollar. And make. Don't holler, who is that? Swipe it, swipe that dollar. And make. Don't holler, cash out. PayPal. Super chat, swipe the slide that dollar and make done holler. Thank you, boo, for the uh, pay, uh, the super chat. I appreciate you, Tiana. They do all kinds of trolling to her channel, and it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, it's nothing we could do. It's nothing we could do. And like I said, I don't, what I don't seem to understand is we get, you see, we got trolls over here on my channel, right? So, if it was anybody able to make their name blue, where they can block the comments and stuff like block people, right? If they was doing it over on her page, they was doing it over on my page. And I kind of feel like this. She better watch who her moderators is because you ain't these trolls can't turn their name blue. We have to make them, we have to get on the wrench to be a moderator. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand, I don't, I don't seem to understand how it was somebody over there on her page and their name was blue with my name blocking people. And I was on live at the same time she was on. I don't get that. So she better watch who she got as her moderators because those might be the same people that's blocking her damn comments and just change their name over there. Ain't nobody fooling me. She just don't know who doing that. That's what that is. That ain't that one. That wasn't no troll that came and uh, created an account. And was blocking y'all over there on her um on her live that day or whatever was going on. No, that was no troll. That had to be somebody that she made a moderator, and they went and changed their name. And whoever that may be, they must don't like me and or whatever, or just trying to start some mess and trying to make me look bad because that's all it was really gonna do is make me look bad to the people that's over there that don't know me. And what she said. She said she wasn't going to have no new moderators. It ain't got nothing. It pro I ain't even going to say it was the new ones. It's probably the old ones. And that's, pro and that's part of the reason why I don't have moderators now, y'all. Is because these moderators, these people that sit here and they, you got people that don't like you can't stand you looking for you to go down and looking for you to lose subscribers and stuff but those are the main ones that sit up there and act like they like you in order for you to make them a moderator and then when you make them a moderator now they behind your back when the video is over deleting comments blocking people and all kind of stuff like that that's why i had to get rid of moderators one time before when i got rid of them because stuff like that was going on and i was finding out and i didn't know people like that but i was making people moderators you know trusting them really not knowing anything about you know the moderator thing and when i got into doing youtube i felt like that you had to have moderators because the person channel that i was on she had a whole heap of moderators so i feel like the well since she had a whole heap of moderators i needed me moderators too not knowing that you don't need all the moderators like that because you don't even know these people But yeah, so that's why I don't um, do moderators. How do these people have that much time to be miserable in life? Shoot, I'm busy for... Exactly, exactly. But they got time, Miss Meredith. They got too much time, if you ask me. But I ain't got time for that. And I don't have time to be trying to explain myself 
to nobody over there on their channel and stuff like that. Like I said, I ain't had no problem with her blocking me as a moderator because she got to do what she got to do. But at the end of the day, they, you know, they over trying to make me look bad like I'm doing some on her page. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey, no bacon. She been doing this longer than me. And and that should have told her. If I was her, I probably would have got rid of all my damn moderators that day. Because that should have told her that that was somebody that is a member on her channel that she made a moderator. That ain't no troll. Because not one troll just yet made they self blue with all this mess that they talking y'all come on let's be for real not one of these moderators in here right now i mean these trolls right now made they self a moderator where they can come and block y'all now did they so that's somebody she made a moderator and they changed their name what you say why don't you just get your friends and family to be your moderator? I'm going to tell you why. After not having moderators for so long, it don't bother me. And I'm going to tell you why I don't need a moderator. Because at the end of the day, friends, family, whoever, y'all ain't going to be able to block all of them. You're going to get tired of sitting there trying to block them left and right. Because these people come with accounts on top of accounts. We don't know how many accounts they got. And I don't need for y'all nor, you know, um, me to be chasing behind him, behind them. They not that important to me and it don't really matter. I don't, that's why I tell y'all, y'all look for me to ignore them and don't let them, you know, get to me and stuff like that. But I look for the same thing out of y'all too, because you can't ask something of me and you're not doing it yourself. So that's why I tell y'all, block them on y'all end, because if you block them on your end, you ain't never got to worry about seeing them no more until they come back with another name. Y'all have more time to block them on your end than I have time to be blocking them on my end, because that means I'm just going to be standing here just blocking and ain't doing nothing on the video but blocking people. I ain't got time. It was her moderator, and she blocked and removed them and apologized on your behalf. I was on her line. Yeah, I was there, but see, then when I came, Nita, when I came there on her channel, she blocked me. She blocked me because she thought that I was that person that they was talking about. I don't know what was going on that day because I was on live myself. So I can't say what was said and what wasn't said. I just know that one of my... um members here on my channel came and told me tiana you need to go help my um soul for tea out and because somebody over there blocked people in your name or something like that however must have happened whatever must have going on right so by the time i got off my live and i went over there and i was letting her know oh i don't know what's going on but my mom my my members over here telling me that you know people block people in my name time i said that she just blocked me but i get it though because she didn't know you know No, it couldn't have been. It couldn't have been me. Me and her was on live at the same time. Me and her was on live at the same time. So, but it's all right though. It's all right. I'm I'm not mad about it. You know, it's all good because I understand doing this YouTube. We got to do what what we got to do, and you don't know who is who and what is what half the time. So you know, a lot of times we listen to what people tell us sometimes when we don't see it and you know i didn't know if she's seen it or not for herself but i wouldn't blame her for blocking my ass when she thought it was somebody else i ain't mad about that because i'm telling you i would have did the same thing she did but better because i wouldn't have had no more moderators that day
It's Friday night. It's Friday night. Go again. Hey. Tell them bring a friend. Y'all like that song? It's Friday night. Oh, oh, oh. I can't think of the words right now. Not Friday night. Not that one by Sir Charles. That new one. I think by Wind. Is it Wind? Is it Wendell B? No, not Wendell. It ain't Wendell B. I think it's uh King George. I think that's who's saying it. So then, when I get up here, up here, up here, I'm ready to have me a good time, y'all. Thank y'all for ringing a doorbell. Good question, Joni. What, Joni was talking to me? Okay, so now I got up to the little hump right there. So what you can do is just lay your cardboard. You want, you want the cardboard on that too. That way it don't be sticking to that. You don't want nothing be sticking. Like that. So now we're just going to put us another layer. like this to they pack to they freeze and then I'm gonna stack those over there on the side. Like that. And just let those freeze in a single layer. Oh I still got two more bags of me. I'll just lay these on top of this. Like that there. Like that there. Just let that freeze in a single layer. Like it is. And we is done for today. Y'all know I'm being. Y'all see it? There you go. So, that's the meat, y'all. That's my meat haul. That's how I pack it. That's how I divide it. That's how I buy it. That's how I do it. That's how I go and find it. That's how I get a deal. That's how. That's how I do, y'all. All right. So, I love y'all. That is it. I gotta get my kitchen back together, wipe everything back down, bleach it, and all. Oh, let me close and freeze them. Bleach it and all that stuff. Y'all know it's on. Trolls, hold on. You still here waiting on me. Tro See, I told you I was coming. So, first of all, hold on. Let me tell them. Now, trolls, hold on, because y'all done waited long enough. Thank you. Y'all done waited long enough. 
But hold on real quick. Let me tell the family something. And then I got to tell y'all what I'm going to tell y'all. Because I'm going to get y'all in the end. I got to go on head on and end my family members real quick. Let them know what time of day it is. And then they already know that we finna get ready to go after I cut y'all out. So hold on. All right. So it's 221 of y'all here. If you want the ones that did not ring the doorbell, ring the doorbell for your girl one time for the one time. If you don't mind, I thank you for coming. Welcome to my channel if you was new. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button before you leave. And don't forget to uh, make sure that you ring that notification bell. and Well, set the notification bell to all so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video or go live. Hold on, trolls. Wait a minute because you're about to get your cussing real quick. Like, just hold on. Just hold on. Okay? And so, um, if you haven't already, y'all please go and subscribe to my channel and let somebody else know about me. And whenever I come and I ring on your end, baby, okay? I want you to come on in like you done been here before, okay? Enjoy yourself. Feel like family. Come on back. Don't let the haters bother you. And when they do, only thing you got to do is block them haters, all right? I love y'all. Y'all have a good weekend. And, and, I, and, and, and give me some hugs and some sugar. Now... And y'all have a good one now. Okay, I love y'all. Okay, so now you standing behind me. All right, we is all going to be in agreement with this for those trolls. Okay, first of all, let me tell y'all trolls some one thing that you ain't going to do when you come over here to my channel.